Good day everyone. Again, my name is Joel Pasqua. So for today, we are going to talk about your evaluation process as one of the steps in your nursing process. And in this case, if we try to relate it to community health nursing, this is also the last step under your family nursing process and your community health nursing process. But before we go to the actual discussion, kindly please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the like button and of course comment na rin po for suggestions po ng mga topics na gusto nyo pang i-discuss natin. So when I talk about evaluation, as I've said in the earlier part of our the, uh, of the video, okay, evaluation is the last step under your nursing process. The last step under your family nursing process and the last step under your community health nursing process. So this is basically checking okay, if uh, your implemented interventions under your planning were actually... Uh, uh, get the desired results that we want to okay and when I talk about evaluation it comes with criteria that we have set during the planning phase wherein this criteria will serve as our checklist okay to check um if our goals are um or our set goals and objectives are completely met or um, met partially met or unmet Okay, so basically po yung checklist natin na ginawa during or the criteria that we have set during the uh, planning phase will be the basis of our um, evaluation uh, which will be considered our evaluation parameters. Okay, and uh, talk about evaluation guys, there are three frameworks, there are three basic frameworks that we are actually following here or what we call your uh, evaluation elements. Uh, this includes your structural elements uh, followed by your uh, process elements and the last one is your outcome elements or your output elements so let's talk about your structural elements when we talk about structural elements guys structural elements um this is also known as your uh facility elements okay or your um this structural elements focuses on the evaluation of um, the facility itself Okay, so the word structure referring now to your facility, okay, or the setting where we are going to perform your necessary procedures, okay, in terms of community health nursing, this refers now to the hospital, so presence ng hospital, and if there is a facility, uh, how is the supply, so kamusta ang supply, so this includes the evaluation of the supplies, evaluation of the resources, okay, uh, such as your medicines, okay, and other machines that is necessary for providing interventions. So, pag sinabi natin structural elements, this referring now to the physical setting, okay, including instrumentations and conditions wherein nursing care is given to the community or to the family or to the client, okay. So, that is a structural element. So, basically, nagre-refer po ito sa facility, sa hospital, health center, yung laman ng health center in terms of equipment, the medications available, and of course, the availability of resources such as your nurses, doctors, med techs, and other uh, healthcare professionals in the area. So, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang nature of the problem under your community health nursing process, okay, uh, this uh, includes your health nurse, your um, health resources problem. So, which is uh, the sum to sum up yung physical setting, including the supplies and. Uh, um, the actual facility. So that is your structural elements. So aside from structural elements, number two is your process element. Process element is also known as your method. Okay, your method element. So basically, we are assessing the the process itself, the ad pack. Okay, so we will try to check in during the evaluation if our assessment is correct, if our diagnostic uh, your diagnostic um, uh, problem or your diagnosis or your nursing diagnosis is correct. We're also going to check the planning, okay, and the implementation process. So basically, we want to assess the methods that we use, okay, in providing care to the client. Uh, like for example, in a wider aspects, kapag community health setting po, we, um, um, if we try to assess the implementation of the programs of the Department of Health, that is still included under your, under your method elements or your process uh, element of evaluation. Okay? And the last one is your output element. Okay, your output element or also known as your outcome element is basically we're trying to assess the effects of the things or the interventions that we did to our patients. So... 
under under this uh, element we will try to assess what are the improvements okay doon sa health ng pasyente natin at the same time um is there things that we need to improve uh, with the patient baka naman yung attitude niya towards the treatment is not good like for example nagkakaroon siya ng hesitation in taking up the medications hindi niya tinitake religiously yung medications niya okay yung tulad ng Filipino culture kung saan pag wala nang nararamdaman hindi na nagtitake ng gamot okay so basically if we try to assess okay the patient itself okay or the the, the person receiving the care Okay, that is an example of your output element. So those are the three frameworks or the three elements under your evaluation process. So aside from the evaluation uh, elements or the evaluation framework, we also need to consider the three types of evaluation. So the three types of evaluation, okay, in your um, um, nursing field, okay, nursing field, specifically in your nursing process, is we have number one, your ongoing evaluation followed by your uh, intermittent evaluation and the last one would be your terminal evaluation so what is the difference between these three okay when i talk about ongoing evaluation guys these are evaluation that are done immediately after implementing the nursing intervention okay so after implementing the nursing intervention this basically provides uh, the nurse okay or the healthcare professional an idea if uh, the intervention that we have provided is effective or not okay like for example um when we give um paracetamol to a patient who are actually having fever okay and it's check up natin yun after 30 minutes kasi yun expected time that the medication will take effect okay so once we do that okay that's actually you that is an example of your ongoing evaluation so immediately we want to see a result of the intervention that we have provided for our client. Uh, the other one is your um, intermittent evaluation. When I talk about intermittent evaluation, this is performed on a specified time. Okay, specified time or with interval. For example, is uh, once a day, twice a day, once a week, or three times a day. So whenever you hear those words in the doctor's order and when you do monitoring and reassessment, okay on those uh, period or in, with those intervals that is an example of your uh, intermittent intervention uh, intermittent evaluation rather and the last one is your terminal evaluation so terminal evaluation indicates the client's condition at the time of uh, discharge so basically uh, the patient will already be uh, discharged from the healthcare facility and uh, this includes now um status of the goals that we have set um did we achieve the goals that we have set uh, during the stay of the patient in the hospital or in the healthcare facility and um this also includes um the follow-up care okay of the client like after three months or after taking the medication seven uh seven days of taking the antibiotics sa bahay nila Okay, we will require the patient to come back for a re-evaluation, okay, kung siya po ba ay uh, nag -cook up na, okay, with regards to the, uh, the, the, the conditions that he, that he has, okay, during the entire course of the treatment, okay, na binigay natin. So basically, wala na po sa facility yung ating pasyente, okay, and that is an example of your terminal evaluation okay again the three types of evaluation is your ongoing your intermittent and your terminal evaluation and all of this data okay all of this data will be recorded of course in the patient's document or in the patient's chart if you're working in the hospital or in the patient's individual treatment record if you are in the community then um this will be reevaluated if uh, there are things that we are uh, if there are goals or objectives that we haven't met okay with the treatment or the interventions that we have provided then we have to um uh redo the part that is that we're not achieved for example if the problem is with the assessment then we have to redo the assessment then of course if it's since that is the first step then we have to redo the entire process but after the evaluation ang nakita nating mali is in the implementation phase lang or in the implementation step, then that's the time we're going to uh, do something about the mistakes or the uh, improper 
implementations that we have committed during the implementation phase. Okay, so hindi mo naman ulitin yung buo unless you committed the mistake during the evaluation na check mo na ang mistake was ha 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 uh, happens in the uh, assessment phase then definitely it will affect the diagnosis, the planning, and the implementation, and of course, the evaluation phase. Okay, but uh, in general, kung saan lang po nagkamali after the evaluation, kung saan lang po nagkamali, doon lang po tayo mag, uh, magkakaroon ng uh, twisting or uh, revision of the plan that we have created for the, uh, for the family or for the individual or for the community. So that is basically your evaluation, okay? So evaluation will either be giving you um, an output of a met, go, goal met, uh, goal unmet, or goal partially met. So that is your evaluation as the last step under your uh, nursing process. Again, uh, thank you for watching, guys. And if you do have any questions, just like kindly comment it po sa ating comment sections in. Uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'm gonna see you to my next video. Bye for now.